Hey guys, I'm so excited to be out here. My buddy Zach came down with his friend Sam from Santa Barbara and we're gonna play some golf and try and make some birdies. But I wanted to explain a little bit more about this move that I've been doing. So I think that there's an instinct and Mr. Hogan said you have to fight your instincts for you take the club back and then you feel like you have to swing out like this. And that's always been, you know, if I do that, it messes me up because it, for my arms to move, it means that my body has to stop moving basically. But what we want to do is feel like our body is going to hit the ball. But this is the, the move that I'm doing now is like I'm trying to keep the club up in front of me and then I slam this elbow down. And as I'm turning, it really seems to increase the speed of the club head right through the impact zone. And uh, I've talked before about the shoulder plane and then the uh, shaft plane. And what we want to do is drop the club from the shoulder plane down onto the shaft plane to, to increase our leverage. I'll wait for this plane for a second. Well, last night I had a laugh because I was looking at one of my old videos called uh, Power Fade. And I'm working on the same thing, trying to drop it down. And uh, But the thing that's different now is Sergio Garcia talked about uh, feeling like his left arm is stuck to his chest. And so I'm not keeping it out in front of me as far. I'm really trying to leave it as far behind me as I can. I'm not trying to get stuck like this, but I just want it to feel, not feel like it's out in front on my, on my follow through. So anyway, I'm gonna be working on this today and we're gonna have a lot of fun. Hey guys, so uh, I had a lot of fun going out and playing with Sam and Zach. Uh, I'd never played with Sam before. He's a young man, about 23 years old. He hits the ball a ton. Like he hits it like up to about 3:30 probably when he really nails it. You know, I'm a uh, little ways behind him, but trying to do my best to keep up. We both shot a 77 this day, uh, but it's a lot of fun to watch somebody like Sam. Uh, he's, you know, he's just a guy that gets out there and just crushes it. You know, you can see that his levels uh, change a little bit as he comes into the impact zone. Uh, I think he, because he's young and fast, he gets a little quick with his lower body, but I mean, he can play. He's, you know, he's shot in the 60s before, which is better than I've done. He, his low score is 69 and mine is 70. But yeah, he hits the ball a ton and it was a, a lot of fun to get out there and rock it out. I really encourage you to go check out myswingevolution.com and uh, that's where I have my video, The Hogan Code, uh, where I talk about my journey to learn to swing like Mr. Hogan and all the fruits and benefits that it brought to my life. So hit them long and hit them straight.